Hey, what's up everyone? This is Shavatsud and I'm here to create a Cinema 4D tutorial on the uh, abstract thingy that I use in my speed art. If you haven't seen that speed art, I'll put the link in the uh, description below. But let's get started. Go in render settings and change it to 1920 and by 1080. And let's add ambient occlusion and let's get out of this box. Now go here and add a sphere and in this way let's go to new materials and change the color to black something like that and just take off the uh, specular and add a reflection and change the texture to like uh, to frizzle and change the material to mixed trend and yeah so uh, add a displacement in the textures, add noise, in the noise let's edit it and go to Grenell, change the C to 719 and change the ghoul go to 338 and let's get out of this and change it to 36 I guess and this to 158 and take the sub polygon displacement and round geometry and let's get out of this before adding this material let's edit and make this sphere editable by hitting C and let's drag this to here and let's render it out you see you can see it's a bit small so let's zoom it and let's see if the size is okay. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Um, now Now let's add a background by going here on the blue icon and getting a background and let's create a new material and let's go in color and add a gradient. In the gradient options click here and make this white and in here let's create this dark gray and let's drag this up here and let's change the type to circular and let's get out and drag this material on the background and see how it goes I'll add an ambient evolution that's why it's, it's taken the time Nope, this is looking good, but you know, um, the light there is no lightning on it, so you know, let's add a plane. I know what I'm doing, just see what I'm and drag it on top and create a new material. Oops, new material and add a luminance and, and drag this on the plane and see how and see it look it's look uh, the reflection ha uh, is helping and it's looking pretty good but let's go to the light and add an area light let's change the angle to negative 90 and drag and let's size it up uniformly and drag it up um, on up the plane let's go select the light and yeah that's pretty good now let's zoom in and 
see here. Of course. And you can see the effect that there is light, but we want it here too. So go to here and add a s you know physical sky and in this in this in the basic let's untick the sky and just because we just need you know, some light so let's add down and out okay. yeah so let's render it out because it's done I'm gonna speed it speed this um I'll put the um, result of this in the description but you no know, I'll let's edit it with the edited uh, done made one let's the example one and I'm gonna cop uh, just open it with Photoshop because we're gonna edit it in Photoshop CC a little bit so let's drag this onto here in the Photoshop and drag it out it's gonna open I know it's kind of annoying, but let's add uh, background um, to the curves, and let's add levels and change the levels to something you know, down, and let's add a bunch of neon saturation. It's not gonna work well. Oh, and let's go to new and add some brushes. I've got some, I already got some brushes for this. It's 10 scale. I'll put the link in the description for you guys if you want to like edit it how I'm doing. So let's size it up, size it up and just place it here. And let's go here and add this and let's drag this up. And yeah. it's being pretty clay. So yeah, now go to file. I'm going to file open. I'm gonna provide you all the stuff that I'm using in this, and I got the you know where it is. There's a folder ah this liquid splash and this isn't free I'm put I'll put the download to it too so I'm gonna just size it down a lot it's pretty decent right and a lot oh shit control C and let's go here a little bit, size it up. In the in the hue and saturation, what I'm going to do is change its color to something really and change saturate it and yeah. And it's good. So thanks for watching this video guys. I'll meet you next time. Peace!